Hi everyone. Um, basically, this is a follow-up video um, and uh, first impressions on the Daiso makeup products that I used in the earlier video that I've already posted. I will have the link below in the information bar. Um, basically, um, the few products that I've used uh, today um, has lasted for about six plus over six hours, and I must say that they're really good. So let's have a closer look. Let me bring you very close to my face, basically. So the brow products, um, Daiso brow products, I have no doubt for them because you can see it's still there. Okay. Then in terms of um, the palette that I've used for this eye, okay, the products that I use for this eye basically consist of a palette that has uh, purple shadows in different shade or gradients, and also a cream crystal cream shadow in purple color as a base. So for this eye, this is my easily um, tearing eye. So I did tear quite oh, quite a lot over the past six hours, and I think you can see. Hopefully the camera focus. You can see that um, there are smudges, but at least the shadows stay put. So it's something that I'm grateful for. And you can see the mascara. I have removed the false lashes because uh, kind of getting uncomfortable. I didn't put it on properly. And um, I put I, I took it off and I kind of pull off some of the eyeshadow, but uh, more or less the mascara stay put. And for a first time using, I think it's really I think it's quite a good one for two dollars only. Um, there are still a lot more other properties that of this mascara that I need to test it. Uh, in terms of the um, curl holding powder uh, power, the uh, water resistance level. Uh, but honestly, given that this eye always tear, you know that the mascara is still there, it's not bad, seriously. Then um, I would say um, for the eye product that I've used for this side, I, I'm really impressed for the value that I'm getting, uh, for the value and the quality of it I'm getting. So the blush is still there, intact. Then for this other eye, I'm using a white crystal cream uh, shadow from Daiso and on top of it I have the blue color um, eyeshadow palette and of course the brow powder within the palette itself so um, this eye has lesser um, tearing issue so you can see that I think the product is more or less the products are still intact and for the mascara like I said it's the same mascara just that um, I don't I didn't use a lot I just I think put on two full coats uh, lightly with a light hand and I applied my false lashes so uh, oh well it's still not bad I really think that I will I will buy it again if I need. So uh, in terms of the lip product, um, cheek product I've already mentioned. So it is the um, blusher. The blushes that I have from Daiso are quite last uh, long lasting. So far I have three blushes from Daiso, and all three of them are quite impressive. Then um, this product that I'm wearing now is not the the same one that I wore in the makeup. That I, um, the makeup video that I did earlier today is actually a lip gloss that uh, I just put on. It's the Do lip gloss, Do lip gloss. It's made in Korea, and this one, uh, if you watch the previous video where I have, um, where I showcased the Daiso products that I bought, um, this is a peachy color, and uh, it comes in two other colors too. Uh, two other colors in terms of like, there's a, I think a red one and a pink one. I'm quite. <laughs> liking this already because look at the lips it's very full and um, it kind of like um, hides the, um, the the lip lines in case your lips are very dry you know and it keeps it like supple looking there is a very sweet scent when I first apply it but it kind of wear out the scent wear out and there isn't any taste it's not very sticky it's not very tacky either uh, I don't think it, it moves around I haven't worn this for a long time, so I wanted to uh, further assess this, and I have another video just dedicated for a review of this product or other Daiso lip products. But overall, I am impressed with Daiso Cosmetics, uh, lasting more than six hours, and I didn't have any eye primer except for the cream, the crystal cream shadow. I use it as a base and sort of like a primer. Uh, the powder, the face powder that I use is actually, I use two powders. One is actually a, a glittery um, loose powder and the other side is the um, the mineral compact, which I think both does nothing in terms of coverage. It does nothing in terms of uh, hiding pores, in, in terms of like 
okay brightening yes it does brighten up and it kind of like i think under very strong light it makes my face look very shiny uh not the kind of texture that i want because i prefer a matte finish than a glowy dewy kind of finish but for those with maybe drier skin it may be good for you or you can use those as highlight so i may i won't recommend the um mineral compact powder and also the glittery or pearly or brightening loose powder the loose powder however you can use it as a body glitter which i had it and i think it works well as body body glitter more than a face one because although the powder is very fine but finely milled but uh, just not something that i would like <laughs> yeah so i will maybe try out more products that i've gotten from the recent haul I did two major ones, so uh, more videos, more reviews are coming up. So stay tuned and uh, come back for more. If you want to, just subscribe to the channel and you will receive the video updates when you log on to your YouTube channel. So see you in the next video. Leave your comments or um, you know questions or if you want me to try out certain things, you can make a request and if I can, I will do it and I'll post up my review. So see you in the next video. Bye bye.